Welcome back to the RDI Hub, uh, our series of vodcasts. Um, I'm Kerry McConnell, uh, the PR and Marketing Manager in the Hub, and I'm in conversation with Liam Cronin, who is the CEO. And this is our series of CEO chats. So we're just talking about the latest news and events that are happening here in the RDI Hub. So we've got a lot to talk about this time, Liam. I suppose uh, RDI Hub were on tour in Limerick last week with two different events. Uh, first of all, we had the HMAN event. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, no, th thanks, Gary. Delighted to be back here again. And uh, it's been a really busy month, so we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, last week in Limerick was amazing. Uh, really special night last Wednesday night. Uh, we had a HMAN event where we had 18 startups uh, coming in. They were all had three-minute pitches uh, looking for investment. We had, I think, about 20 angel investors in the room, which was, which was really super. And then what we did is, in between the pitches, we had panel discussions. So we had an ecosystem panel discussion, which was made up of Technical University of Shannon, University of Limerick, the local enterprise office in Limerick and Clare, kind of talking about the supports that they provide to startups, because we all know it takes a village to support a startup. And then we had the investor panel, which again had, you know, some of, you know, like Aidan O'Driscoll from Eris, a successful syndicate in, in Limerick, uh, Tom Lyons was setting up a syndicate in Limerick. Uh, we had some VCs there as well, like Elkstone, uh, Frontline Ventures, and then we had Neve Sterling from Hageman as well. Again, just talking about the investor landscape right now and giving some tips and tricks to, to investors. But again, uh, to, to startups. But again, what was really interesting on the night again was just the networking. You know, the networking before, uh, you know, during the event and afterwards as well. So a really good night. And then I guess we backed it up in Limerick on Friday then with, a, with the launch of the Skill and Innovation Exchange, uh, which happened in the Engine uh, Collaboration HQ space with Innovate Limerick. Uh, and again, that was a great event as well. We had Minister Patrick O'Donovan was there. Uh, we had Paul Healy from, from Skillnet Ireland. Uh, we had the Skillnet Innovation Exchange team, Conor Camedy, Sinead Reardon down. And I suppose what Skillnet Innovation Exchange is about is about connecting uh, solutions seekers with solution providers. So it's, I suppose, the best example is if you look in Kerry here right now, we're doing some really interesting work with the Hayfield Collection, where they've put up a, um, a challenge, which is about a digital voucher system. They're, in this case, they're a solution seeker, and then they've got about five or 10 opportunities of people uh, applying for it. So we talked about that actually in the panel discussion on Friday about how the program actually works. Uh, Tim Crow was there from Rexflow, and we had, we had the, the CEO of Chamber of Limerick there, and we had, um, Grania and Barry from Stat Sports as well, talking about how they use Skill and Innovation Exchange. So yeah, great, great week in Limerick. Uh, and it's, look, the key for RDI is we're a regional partner covering Kerry, Limerick and Clare ac across NDOC, HBEN and Skill and Innovation Exchange as well. That's great. And the engine is a fabulous value, venue as well. So it was lovely to go down there. They gave us a great welcome. So it was a lovely, lovely event. Um, tell me about the, the talent route, which is the new FinTech consortium that we're part of. Yeah, so look, we've, we've talked about before in some of these vodcasts about the important strategic partnerships with the RDI Hub. I mean, you know, when we started here five years ago, it was all about the local partnerships with, with FEX, Government of Technological University, Kerry County Council. You know, over the last first couple of years, we did a lot of national partnerships into, you know, working with the other, the other, uh, uh, the other hubs like Potashed, Republic of Work, uh, Dow Patch Labs, Arma Bats around Ireland, uh, Platform 94. Uh, and we started working with the likes of Microsoft. But in the last couple of years, we've spent a lot of time looking at how can we partner with other hubs around Europe? How can we partner around with hubs in the US? And I suppose the talent group came through that. Like, so it's a, it's a collection of fintech hubs. Um, you know, we've, we've just give you some examples of some of the hubs that are in this fintech consortium. You have fintech Scotland, you have fintech, fintech Helsinki, um, you have fintech Portugal, Spain, France, and Germany as well. And the idea is that we collaborate, we share best practice among each other, and then we go after grants. You know, we go after um, is there Horizon Europe or Interreg Europe funding we can get. Um, so we're really excited about it. We're gonna. We've had some informal meetings. Uh, we're going to meet formally together at Web Summit uh, start of November. Uh, we're probably going to meet again at Slush. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get some of these fintech uh, partners to come here to RDI Hub in the next while or whatever like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's an exciting collaboration and great to have RDI Hub in there as a fintech hub. It's lovely that when you're talking about the uh, like extending our outreach from national to international. Um, another example of that is the, the D-Best. Um, we ran the D-Best webinar um, only two weeks ago and we're actually recruiting for uh, member companies to, to sign up for that. So do you want to talk a little about the, the D-Best project? Yeah, so D-Best is digital innovation for the blue enterprise and social tourism. And I suppose that's a project we've been working on here now in the RDI Hub uh, for about the last 12 months. So Kerry McConnell is very involved in it, Finola O'Callaghan. And I suppose we've been spending the last 12 months kind of 
building towards the launch event that happened there um, a few weeks back. Um, and I suppose what, what, what the whole purpose of the DBEST project is, is to recruit micro enterprises in coastal regions uh, that are focused on blue economy and tourism and support them on the digitalization journey. Um, we, you know, Work Package 1 had done a lot of desk research. We'd also done some surveys and we identified kind of three areas where these micro enterprises needed support, which was really around PR and marketing uh, and, and sales as well, online sales. They were the three areas. What we've been kind of leading is Work Package 3, which is all around the supports we put in place. And I think, again, what we've identified from talking to micro enterprises is they need support around mentoring and coaching. Um, so at the event we did here, we had five of the, of the coaches that we're going to have here from Ireland uh, do a panel discussion on the day. So it was great to have Hugh Reynolds, their entrepreneur and residence, talking about how he can support on the AI side. Uh, we had uh, David Larkin, who was going to support on the sales side. And then we had some of our own people as well, like Kerry McConnell was there from a PR and marketing perspective, and uh, Megan Daly Terrell talking about how she can support from the sales and her tourism experience. I uh, suppose the other things we've seen that micro enterprises need is support around networking, peer networking across other countries. Um, and then there'll be a whole bunch of training material as well. So it's a really exciting program. I think, look, um, if, if anybody needs any more information, you know, please get in touch. As you said, Kerry, we're starting the recruitment process at the moment. Uh, the application form, the expression of interest form is up on our, our dbest, interactdbest.org mm -hmm. website. Um, and all, the application will be up there pretty soon as well. Uh, and I know there's a big meeting happening in France next week of all the partners where we'll finalise the application process and uh, finalise the recruitment process. But we hope to have the 80 micro enterprises across the four countries are recruited by the end of December and then the training kicks off next year. So, yeah, great project, great for RDI up to be involved in it uh, with Western Development Commission, Munster Technological University, uh, and also to have partners across France, Spain and Portugal. So, um, yeah, exciting times. It is, it is. And from recruiting uh, for DBEST to recruiting closer to home, um, we're expanding the team. So we're currently at eight members of staff, but now we're looking at recruiting another two members. So do you want to talk a bit about the, the roles we have open and the opportunities? Yeah, two very exciting roles. I mean, the, the first one is Digital Media Apprenticeship Program. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this has been a program we've been involved in for about the last two or three years. Um, we led on this. We, we saw a need for a digital marketing apprenticeship program probably three years ago. Um, I was chair of the Industry Consortium Steering Group, working closely with Mayo Sligo Leach and Me2B. Um, we now have the apprenticeship approved and uh, we're looking at the very first cohort that will come in uh, starting from January. So we're in the process of hiring uh, for a digital media marketing apprenticeship to, to join the RDI Hub team on a two-year contract as part mm -hmm. of the time they work on, on, the, on, on the program. So uh, really good and, and the fact it's great that we're leading from the front on this. So anybody at all, like, please get in contact with Kerry McConnell or connect to us at, to our website on, on that role. Um, I suppose we also then are hiring for a kind of a 12-month uh, maternity leave cover uh, for the NDLC uh, role, an NDLC program associate, um, who we want to kind of come in and support the NDLC program. So anybody who doesn't know what NDLC is, this is the program where we support startups and scale-ups in Ireland through two areas like a Founders Weekend. Uh, we do it also through uh, pre-accelerators. Uh, we have a lot of master classes we run. Um, we also have office hours. Um, so we're looking for somebody that's I suppose it's got a passion for startups and has a passion for new products and services to come on board. And again, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be hiring, we're hiring for that role at the moment. Hopefully the person starts before Christmas. So yeah, it's exciting times. It's always great to be, uh, to be growing the team and uh, always great to see new blood coming into the team and, and new energy as well. So looking mm -hmm. forward to it. And speaking about the, the programs, the events that we run, we've got the masterclasses back. They're continuing. This is the second one after the summer break. So uh, it's coming back again on the 22nd of October. Yeah, so that's, and it's great that we're doing this. The last masterclass was really, really good. I think we had over 100 people attended. You know, we covered a lot of ground with Brightbeam and SIA partners. Um, and I suppose one of the key pieces of feedback we're getting from customers, and I suppose it's something that we're pushing really hard here in the RDO over the, over the last while is, we really want to bring the voice of the customer into everything we're doing. Because um, a lot of time you can be very top down in this industry and you know, think, tell customers what you think they need to know. We really want to listen to our customers and hear what they're saying. And what we're hearing around AI is we want case studies. We want examples. So, so the AI Masterclass next Tuesday, you know, it's going to be very similar. Like it's going to be case studies around AI in marketing, AI in sales. And uh, Jared Brown is going to be coming in talking about the UAI Act and what that means for customers and stuff. And then as always, there's going to be uh, breakout sessions as well, but it'll be very much practical case studies. 
Um, I think one of the key instances I picked up from, I was at SAS Stock two days this week in Dublin, and there was a lot, as you can imagine, around AI there. But the key insight that came across in nearly all the presentations is companies have invested a lot of time now in AI, you know, either sending their people to, to training courses like the, the master classes or the strategy sessions. People have invested in licenses, whether it's the Microsoft 365 Copilot, but they want to see the return on investment. So like, you know, CIOs, um, the finance people are kind of saying, we've made this investment, where are we seeing the productivity change? So, so that's the kind of lens we need to start bringing now to the master classes. Show me the case studies, show me examples, tangible examples. Uh, the other thing which we're going to be doing, just a shout out, is we're running an AI hackathon on the 14th of November here in the RDI Hub uh, with Microsoft. So it'll be a day long hackathon uh, and we're hoping to have a lot of smart manufacturing companies in there and we're going to have a, a lot of smart, smart manufacturing case studies talking about how to use an AI in smart manufacturing. So big focus on AI. I mean, uh, for us, we're an AI center of excellence. We want to live and we live and breathe it every day. We want to prove it. Um, so we'll, we're going to be doing more in that space, yeah. So a lot happening, so much going on. Um, if anybody would want to become a member or get involved in the RDI Hub, what would you say? If you, you love your rule of three, so what would be mm -hmm. your what would be your three reasons to become a member in the RDI Hub? Yeah, so it's the, the power of three, and, and we just did a survey actually of our members. You know, we talk again about the bottom up approach we have here and the MPS sorry if they come back. And I was just looking through some of the survey earlier on, and I think like what was kind of key from the responses. So I'll just quote back what, I'm, what we're hearing from our own members, not what I think is important, but what members think is important. And I think it is the space. First of all, I mean it's an amazing space here. It's an amazing facility. Um, you know, it's it's, a, it's such a professional outfit here, and the support that people get, the wraparound services that they get from yourself, Kerry Garod, and, and all the other members uh, of, of staff here in the RDI Hub and our mentor and residents. Um, so I think it's the space number one is what I saw. Uh, I think the second thing is the mentoring and coaching and that came across very strongly um, having access to our entrepreneur and residence Hugh Reynolds having the you know the lunch and learn sessions we do the external speakers we we, we do like we were um, you know we've got fun to innovate in next week with Stephen Lyons coming in for Skillnet um, you know we had we've had lots of different speakers coming in so I think that that's a kind of a that's kind of a key element as well and I suppose the third area is really the networking like people are saying you know it's great to meet like-minded people that are on the same journey and learn from each other um, and and you know, not, not, not feel that you're on this journey on your own and knowing that there's somebody in one path of the hub that might be fundraising and you're fundraising, so let's go and get some insights from them. So, so I think the three things I saw from it were, you know, the space itself, the coaching and mentoring, and just the networking. So there you have it, folks. A uh, lot happening. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved, reach out to us. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, that's it from us until next month. So Until, until next month. Much. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Cheers.